So now the forces that act between charges are given by Coulomb's law. They're, when I'm talking about a force, it's proportional to both the charges, inversely proportional to the square of the separation. And the sign of the force is such that it's attractive if they're opposite charges, opposite type of charges, and repulsive if they are the same type of charge. So then, when I'm using Coulomb's law to calculate the net force on something, I need to use the principle of vector superposition. So you're adding the forces as vectors. So you draw the forces, you calculate the magnitudes of forces, you add vectors, which means you decompose the forces into their components, you add the same components, okay, and then what you do is to find the net magnitude of the force, you use the fact that if I have a vector A, or let's say F net, F total, that has an X component, F X total, F Y total. Then the way you calculate the net magnitude of F is to take the square root of Fx squared plus Fy squared. Okay. Let me just see. There were problems like this on the discussion sheet and we did examples in class. So the thing is, when you decompose each of these into components, you can algebraically add the components you know, with positive or negative values. But to find the magnitude, I cannot add the x and y components of a force to get the total force. So this, you can see, is not equal to fx <coughs> plus fy. All right? You cannot add two distinct components because they're pointing in different directions. You have to use the fact that they form a right angle triangle and the net force is the hypotenuse of that triangle. You find the angle, theta, by saying the tangent of theta is Fy over Fx for that net force, or for any given vector. This is how you would find the 